What's up everyone, I'm Dan and thanks to Ocean Media I'll be looking at Shipwreck Escape today for the Nintendo Switch. Shipwreck Escape is a 2.5D immersive game with puzzle elements. The catastrophe happened when the cruise ship was sailing from Athens to Dubai. The main character is a croupier in the ship's casino and he got stuck in this sinking hell. After the initial intro which is delivered to the player using a comic panel style, you're given a brief tutorial to get you used to the controls. You move your character with the left stick, you can crouch with the L trigger and run with the R trigger. The A button is your action button that you use to open doors and grates or pick up keys and operate switches. The X button is used to swap between the two characters you'll use. You'll solve puzzles, save other passengers, control the two characters to solve puzzles together, walk through all the levels to freedom and find out the reason for the catastrophe. Making your way through the ship, you'll play through more than 20 handcrafted levels with increasing difficulty. Cabins, engine zone, casino, park, restaurants and more. Obstacles like fire, steam and electrical hazards will slow you down as you find your way to get past them. Quite soon you'll realise that water is flooding in and filling the levels of the ship so you'll need to move quickly if you don't want to drown. This is where panic sets in as you race against the clock to find your way to the end of the level. This is one of the strengths of this game as you will start to panic and one wrong move means that you could miss your chance to escape the rising water levels. You'll also come across many passengers who got into traps but the time to escape is limited and only you decide whether to stay and help or save yourself. The game is played from a side on viewpoint but the environment and characters are all rendered in 3D. I have to say I really like the art style especially the effects used on the water that floods in. It's all detailed enough to give you a sense of being in these cramped hallways and vents with the camera rocking backwards and forwards to give you the sense that you're on the water. The game does get more and more difficult as you progress through and sometimes can be slightly frustrating with some of the puzzles feeling overly challenging. You can't always see or tell what needs to be done, especially when controlling two characters at once and one wrong turn means that the other player is at risk of drowning. Saying that however, this is part of the game's appeal and the satisfaction of solving a difficult puzzle is incredibly rewarding and getting to the end of the level always feels like you're one step closer to safety. I really enjoyed Shipwreck Escape. It's a fantastic puzzle game that offers an engaging and rewarding experience for players. The simple but effective designs work alongside the music design to make you feel as though you are trapped on a ship in a 90s action movie. While the game may be challenging at times, the sense of accomplishment that comes with solving difficult puzzles is incredibly satisfying. I would highly recommend Shipwreck Escape to anyone looking for a unique and challenging puzzle game experience. Shipwreck Escape is out now on the Nintendo eShop and if you're in the UK then here's a quick tip. Run, don't walk, because until the 28th of February, this game is 90% off. It's usually $8.99 in the UK and $9.99 in the US, but you can pick it up right now for 89p. So that's a big saving. It's a bargain. I think it's a game that's worth playing if you've got 89p. If you've got any credit left over on your Nintendo eShop, then definitely check this one out. So thank you for watching. Hit the like button if you like the review and go and download this one if you're looking for a new puzzle game to play. See you next time.